Hello, this is Brian Lagunas, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom region adapter for your PRISM application. The sample app I'm going to be used is composed of a single module with a simple view. A view is simply a text block wrapped around with a red border. So if I would run this application, let's see what we have in its current state. Okay, we have a single shell with a single view instance inside of it. So let's say that I want more than one instance in my view. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my module, make things simple. I'm just going to copy and paste a couple of instances into my region. I'm going to run it again. And oh man, this sucks. I only still only have one instance in view. What I want is I want to see each instance of that view within my shell. So that tells me I need to change my hosting control. So you know what? An items control handles multiple items. So I'm just going to switch out my items control. And now let's run it. Well, there we go. OK, this is a little better. I have each instance of my view represented in my shell. That's great. But you know what? This really isn't what I'm looking for. What I really want is for all these views to be aligned horizontally. And you know, I know just the control that can do that for me. The stack panel. Now the stack panel has a property on it called orientation, which will allow me to set the orientation of all the items inside of this control to horizontal. So now if I run this, oh man, what's going on here? It's, it's not working. Well, the reason that's not working is because you need, to you need to have a region adapter that adapts the stack panel and instructs the stack panel on how to handle your views. By default, Prism gives you a handful out of the box. Uh, support for content control, items control, uh, selector, things like that. But it doesn't have one for stack panel. So that means we need to create our own. Luckily for us, this is extremely simple to do. I'm going to start by expanding my infrastructure project. This is a project that I have in all of my PRISM applications that will contain all the infrastructure code that's shared throughout the app. I'm going to add a new class. and I'm going to call this the Stack Panel Region Adapter. Let's make sure this is public. And to get started, the first thing we want to do is derive from the Region Adapter Base class. And this is of T. And the hosting control is going to be a stack panel. So let's go ahead and create a uh, public constructor for this. And there is a parameter that we're going to need for the I region behavior factory. Okay, now we're getting this squiggly underline here because we need to implement the abstract class members of adapt and create region. Now create region, what we're going to do here is we're going to return a new all active region. All this is saying is I'm going to support multiple items. If I were to support a single item, it would simply be the single active region. Okay, next we need to implement our adapt method. We're going to start by hooking into the region.views.collection changed event. Go ahead and move this back. Okay, now what we want to do. So we want to check if the e.action are items being added, then we want to loop through all of the new items. And just to make it more explicit, so you know this is actually a framework element. So 
So we're going to loop through each of the new items and the region target, which is the stack panel, we're going to add that, those items, to the children collection of the stack panel. Now for our purposes, we're not going to implement this, but in your region adapter you would implement the removing behavior as well. So now, I'll come back, make sure I have my stack panel, we have our region adapter. So we're going to run this and we're going to see what happens. Oh, well, we still get the problem. What's going on? Well, the issue is, is although we've created our region adapter, Prism doesn't know about it. So we need to go into our bootstrapper and let Prism know that, hey, we have a region adapter that I want you to use. And this is done by simply overriding a method called configure region adapter mappings. So let's go ahead and create a new region adapter mapping. We want to, we want to carry over all the uh, uh, adapter mappings that Prism creates for us. So we're going to just set that uh, equal to base dot configure region adapter mappings. Now I'm going to say mappings register mapping, the type of the control, which in our case is the stack panel, and then container, resolve. Now we need our stack panel region adapter. And of course, don't forget to return your mappings. Okay, so we've created our custom region adapter. We have registered our adapter for the stack panel with Prism inside our bootstrapper. So now the expectation is when I run this application, I should see all of our views nicely stacked horizontally with each other inside the stack panel. It's that simple to create a region adapter for any control of your choice. You can take this technique and apply it to any third party custom control or uh, pre existing control in the WPF Silverlight framework. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.